Hello students, today we will go through the experiment number 8, 1 that is a shift resistor. So here we will go through the serial in parallel out, SIPO, serial in serial out, SISO, parallel in parallel out, PIPO and parallel in serial out, PISO. So to do these uh, uh, experiments, we will use the IC 7495. Okay. This is the pin diagram of the IC 7495. This is a 14 pin IC. So 14 VCC and 7 will be ground. Okay. So observe here. Here DS. This is the serial uh, input. That means for serial input operations, we will consider this input. Okay. So for parallel input operations, we will consider these inputs A, B, C, D. Okay. This is the mode control. So, there should be 0 for serial, uh, serial operation and there should be 1 for parallel operation. Okay. So, this QA to QD are the outputs. So, here we will use a single clock, clock 1. Okay. So, it is coming to the serial in, serial out operation. So, in the same IC, since we are using the serial operation, so we will consider the only uh, serial input. See, serial input we are using. We don't use the parallel inputs A, B, C, D. So, we didn't give connections for that. Okay. The mode control should be 0 because it's a serial operation. And VCC ground we have given. And the outputs Q, A to Q, D, 13, 12, 11, 10. And we are using the clock 1 at the point 9. Okay. This is the truth table of the serial in, serial out. Uh, operation. So, here the clock we have taken and the mode control should be 0 because if uh, it is a serial operation. So, DS is a serial input and QA to QD are the outputs. Okay. So, here we are giving the input 1. So, by giving input 1 and if you press the clock signal, we will get the output 1, the given in output input 1 at the point QA. And we won't consider the QB, QB QC, QD uh, outputs. So next if we give 1 and we give the second clock signal, so the QA point 1 will be shifted right at the QB place. Okay. And the now given 1 will be loaded at QA. Okay. So next if we give 0 and we press the clock signal, and this 0 will come under QA and the previous data 1, 1 will be shifted right to the QB, QC place. See, we have given the uh, 0, at, uh, so QA will be loaded as 0 and the previous value of QA will be shifted to QB and the previous value of QB will be shifted to QC. Fine. So next, if we give a data 1, then if we plus the uh, clock signal, then that uh, now given data will be loaded at QA. The previous data of QA, QB, QC will be shifted to right. That means the previous data of QA will be shifted to QB place. The previous data of QB will be shifted to QC place. And the uh, previous value of QC will be shifted to QD place. So at this point, see at this point we will consider this as serial in parallel out. Okay. So, from here we will take it as serial in, serial out and here we consider this point as serial in and parallel out. That means we have given the inputs in the serial point and we are taking the outputs QA, QB, QC, QD. That means all the outputs are loaded. So, it is a parallel out. Okay. So, in the single two table we can analyze both serial in, serial out and serial in, parallel out. So, here and this is the serial in parallel out. It means the same two table have taken, just neglect the uh, remaining thing. So up to, up to this point they have mentioned here with the different inputs. See, the same procedure will be takes place in serial in parallel out. So uh, consider uh, input is 0 and the QA will be loaded with 0. If you give 1 and press the clock signal and the data will be loaded at QA, and the previous set of QA will be shifted to QB. And if we give 0 and press the clock signal and that will be given at the QA 
and the previous value of QA, QB will be shifted to QB, QC. So, if you give 1 uh, and press the clock signal, so the data will be previous data of the QA, QB, QC will be shifted to QB, QC, QD and the present data will be loaded at QA. So, this is the parallel out. So, this is also same, this is also same explanation. So, just took the different inputs. Let us see the output of the serial in, serial out in the trainer kit. So, here we are using the IC 7495 and we did the connections, uh, all the connections, we see ground, in outs uh, and all, mode control, clock and all. The clock I have given here, this is the clock high and is the clock button. Okay. So, here this is the mode control pin, hmm. this is the DS input, serial input pin. This is the QA, QB, QC, QD. Okay. So, see the two table. Uh, for the serial operation, we have taken 0 for mode control. And if you give a uh, 1 for the input, the output should be 1 at the QA. See, the mode control is 0. And this input is 0 here. If you give the 1 and if you press the clock signal, see, if you give uh, input 1 and press the clock signal, the QA is 1. Okay. So, if you give the same 1 and we press the clock signal and QA, QB will be 1, 1. See, QA, QB will be 1, 1. And if you give 0 and press the clock signal, the output should be 0, 1, 1. See if you give 0 and press the clock signal. I am pressing the clock signal. See output are 0, 1, 1. Okay. So next, if you give input 1, the output should be 1, 0, 1, 1. See if you give 1 and press the clock signal the output should be 1011. So, this is the point we consider it as serial in parallel out. Okay. So, in this way we will do both the operations serial in serial out and serial in parallel out using IC 7495.